Okay. Ooh, what? It's the pile of twisted mango gauze bandages that resulted from Nana's rescue. Um. I, I don't know where to go now. Uh. Oh. Oh. Wait. It's a little loud now. Can we go into the custodian place? I kind of like the fact that like the music changes from like kind of like actiony upbeat to like the door to the custodian's closet is frozen in place as if it was just a decoration. So the do you have to pull the lever again? The trapdoor seems to have completely vanished without a trace, as if it was as if it e never even existed. Well, what do we have? Item. Rusty key, student ID, and paper charm. That's what we got. Um go in this room. I guess the only option is to go from room to room and check to see which ones are not, which ones are open. <laughs> I gotta find Shinazaki! Oh shit, we can go in this one. Oh wait, this is with the child! I don't get it. When Shinazaki and I came in here before, this room was different. Oh, look, a dead body. It's the partially de decomposed corpse of a student. Judging by the size and uniform, this is likely a male middle school student. The back of his head seems to be completely smashed in, suggesting he was probably killed from behind with a blunt weapon. Student ID name tag can be seen even partially lodged under one of his bony arms. Takine Municipal Middle School. Teru Ar Ara Arai. Arai. There's something all over everyone. Wait. There, there's something all over every one of these shells. It's like someone emptied out buckets full of black, small black beans. On closer inspection, they seem to be dead flies. Hundreds upon hundreds of them. Okay. Oop, wait, what? It looks like someone used a shard of glass or something to carve a message into the teacher's podium. To any and all Takine and Takine middle school students. I'm okay. I'm going to find Kyoga. If you're reading this, looks like someone has carved a message. I'm okay. If you're reading this, and then he got hit from behind, and then died. Happy fun times! All right. Uh, no. Well, we could probably go there now. Unless that kid's still there. So yeah, so what I decided that after every chapter, I'm going to go back and re-record myself getting the wrong endings, depending, um, and I'm going to do all the wrong endings. I'm not going to, like, there's something there. Okay, I'm not going to, um, so yeah, so after I'm done with chapter two, I'm actually going to go back to chapter one, and I'm going to purposefully get the wrong ends to those. And then once I get the wrong ends to those, I'm going to get the wrong ends to two, and then I'm going to record myself and do that. Happy, happy fun times. Any dead bodies? No? Well, okay. There's a crumpled up scrap of paper inside one of the shoe cubbies. It's a bit heavy, suggesting it serves as packing for some object wadded up within. Unraveling it reveals a small pile of long, whitish, stubby objects that at first seem like they may be candles or something, but in actuality, they were teeth. 
Well, that's gross. Are these fingers? As in human fingers? Ten in total. Every finger from both of one unfortunate victim's hands. The blood was still very much wet, too, indicating that not much time had passed since these digits were severed. Wet soil was lodged under, under each fingernail, and faint remnants of color here and there further indicated that the owner of these fingers had painted nails. <gasps> these nails! Nana-chan! Nana? Nana? It's probably nothing. Don't worry. No, it probably is something. It probably was one of her friends that she listed. It's probably been chopped to bits. Hooray! Alright, uh... Inumenamanamo, where... Which way should I go? Uh, head towards the second wing. I don't... I... Highly... Unlikely. I guess we can. Kishinamaku! Hey, Kishinuma, what's that? I can't really make it out very well, but something down there is definitely reflecting light. I wonder if we can get in. So... I seriously doubt it. This hole looks like it doesn't bottom out for a while. There could be a whole storehouse down there. Okay, so we need to go and find rope. Maybe if we had some kind of ladder or rope. A ladder rope. Okay. Ladder rope. Uh, will rope magically have fallen from the ceiling if we go back to this room? Or do we have to go upstairs? Probably have to go back upstairs. But just in case if something pops. Anything new? Anything new? Anything new? Nope! Okay, time to go upstairs. You know, the navigation system isn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was like, kind of like, whoa, kind of took me back a minute when, uh, when I, uh, was playing in chapter one. But now it's not, it's not too bad, and I kind of understand it. It actually makes it, like, the more interactive visual novel. Like, when people say visual novel, this is what I envision as a visual novel would be. Alright. Um. Classrooms. Go. Yay. Happy fun. Music is gone. Is there... Oh my. That, that is a torso. Or not a torso. The bottom half of a torso. This was most likely a female junior or senior high student. Though anything beyond that was impossible to determine as everything above the waist was missing. Whoever killed this girl must have done it recently as the wound was still fresh and the blood all over the floor was still wet. Her exposed intestines seemed to have been pulled out of her body and draped onto the floor, where they were then crushed flat with a worm, like a worm under a big shoe. This uniform is from my school! No! No, who is this? Who is it? It's okay, Nana. Try to stay calm. Don't think about it. I don't want to 
お前のダチじゃねえかもしんねえだろ Actually, it probably is, because she, because probably the only people from her school are probably here that are her friends. Yeah, try not to think of the worst case scenario right off the bat. There's no reason to assume this is one of your friends. Nana was wrought with grief. She was shaking uncontrollably to such an extent that her teeth were chattering. We gently let her out of the classroom. I wanted to get out of there myself, to be honest. Seeing a human body so horribly mutilated was more than I could handle. Let us leave. Let us leave. Let us leave. Frozen in place, isn't it? Yep. Figures. Okay. Ah, oh, this one's open. Is the other half gonna be in here? It's an old yellow class newsletter. Looks like they cut out an article from the local newspaper and photocopied it. Child abduction and more, a follow up report. It's hard to imagine what the bereaved family and friends of the victims must be going through. Classmates of the deceased will be dedicating memorial portraits and flowers in their honor and the. We read that before. I don't. I don't see nothing. Okay. Two way, go. Oh my god, we could go in. Okay. I'm waiting to enter this room and then we're gonna find the other half of the body. Of the body. Anything? Podium? Nope. I... Uh, nothing. Okay. It's the girl I covered with the sheet earlier. Okay. Did this change? There's something written here in chalk. It smells so good. The smell of tasty meat. Where is it coming from? No, fuck the ner- Fuck the infirmary! Okay, up there should lead to the bathrooms. How about the lab? Guess we can't get in? It's locked up tight. The door is locked up tight. Maybe that key we found where will work here. So, um, save and then we'll try it. No good, guess it's the wrong lock. Uh, okay, I think up here just leads to the bathrooms. Well, no, Shinazaki may have run back into the bathrooms. Maybe.
boarded up. It won't be possible to get inside. There's a body. The remains of a student completely decomposed into a skeleton. Based on its size and the uniform it's wearing, it was probably one of once a senior high school girl. There are deep scratches on the ground nearby with several fingernails and even a few teeth adorning them, indicating the ferocity of her struggle. There's also a student name ID tag. Matsukaze Prefectural High School. <laughs> Reina Seiki. Mmm, it's a good thing I... Um, uh, we're just gonna quietly walk away. I ate all my candy. I ate moss, bugs, and rats. I ate my dear friend, shoes, paper. I even ate it from the toilet. But oh, how I long for more of that meat. Completely bored it up. We're gonna, like, walk away now. Go! The only other rooms up here, I think, are the reference rooms. Uh oh. Oh! 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 Bed! Bed! Bed, 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 very very bad very very bad indeed don't you dare try to take it from us you all still have your own bodies they want our bodies I know she'll accept me she has to she has to. I want that body. I want it. Uh... I'm afraid you won't be going any farther. I think it's a good time to go. Okay, we're gonna go that way. Cause fuck the infirmary! Game, don't do this to me. Don't make me go into the infirmary. Okay? It's gonna make me go into the infirmary. Why? No! No! No. Okay. Alright! Oh no! I just want to like check the classrooms again and make sure that like Okay. Rope 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 Don't see no rope Rope. Bleh.
Rope, where art thou? Where art thou, Rope? I don't want to go in there, so... Rope! Rope! Just fall from the ceiling, like right now. Do the do the animation. Just go. Yeah, rope! Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. There's your rope. You you asked nicely for it. So now we're gonna drop it from the ceiling, right? Right! All right. This is what. Yeah. Gotcha. Alrighty. Rope. 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 Hello. <sighs> I think I have no choice. I don't want to go back here. Fuck. Bad things always happen. Probably all of you are watching this. You're probably like, the rope was in this room. Why can't you see it? I'm sorry. I don't even know. Oh, thank God. Okay. But now I don't know where to go. Ready? Wait a second! Wait, stop! How do I. Can I stop? I can't. I'm gonna check the girls' room again. Check stairwell, rope, 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 rope. Okay, now I'm gonna check. Okay, we want to go to the girls' room. We check the girls' room one more time. Because I was kind of distracted by the kill, kill, kill kind of thing coming from the stall I don't know and after we talked to that ghosty person that was like I ate everything um, we might it, it might have activated something I don't know Rope, 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 rope. Mm. What? There's some sort of thick butter, buttery buildup in the drain. It smells rancid too. There's a small amount of standing water in the sink, indicating a clogged drain. It's littered with dead flies. What about here, in this corner? Nope, okay. Alrighty. What 
What about that, like, box? That, like, Yoshiki has. I mean, he has a box. I figured maybe that little, uh, little, la la la, little rusty key might be part of that. Okay. That's where he came from. That's where he found the fingers. Let's try this hallway. I don't know. can get to besides the locker rooms. Wait! Wait! Ugh! I'm an idiot. I just thought of a perfectly awesome plan. You know what also might work as rope? Bandages! Fuck! Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> ah! We could like tie up the bandages and make like rope and then shimmy down to down below and then I don't know 